Hello. This is a quick run through of some things I imagine you'll come across and that you'll have to use or want to use if you work in SEO and you've got access to Excel, which I'm assuming you're going to have. So I'll bring up this spreadsheet. So the first thing is lookups. So VLOOKUP or index and match. VLOOKUP, you can only look left to right. Um, you still use it a lot though. So this is um, just a download from Google Analytics. So I just want to check here that these two lists of URLs are the same. So I'll just go into this cell here and then put equals VLOOKUP open parenthesis, open your brackets um, to look up value so let's check this one so F12 I want to check that that represents the home page if you don't set it to a different default on Google Analytics just a forward slash will be the home page so let me just check that exists in this list over here and column index so there's only one column so it'll be number one and then type of lookup is zero for an exact match. Close the brackets, press enter. Um, with this, it just shows if it does exist in both lists, then all you just get is a forward slash. If I drag it down. Okay, the ones that don't exist, so in this list of URLs, we've got a couple of kind of wildcard weird ones there at the bottom. Um, as they're not found in this list, you just get an NA. Okay, so that's one quick example. Um, VLOOKUP, I remember the first time I saw it, I didn't know what the hell it was, but just think of it, so you've got the name of the formula, your name of the formula VLOOKUP, just tells Excel what type of thing you want to do, and then lookup value, so if you want to find something, like a forward slash or a number, just choose a cell with that number in, that's all you have to do, and then table array, that's just the range of cells that you're looking in to check something or to return something. And column index is if you've got a table of two or three columns, you know, is it the first one, if so, number one, second one, number two, number three, and then range lookup, that's just the type of match, so usually it's just zero for an exact match, otherwise, sometimes you, if it's between a certain range of numbers, you might use a different lookup type, but just for now, just put zero down as normal, so, and then press enter. So, that's just a quick one on VLOOKUP. Bit of a ball ache when you first start off with it, but you should get used to it. Um, VLOOKUP can only look left to right, so if you had a table here, then you can only look left to right, it can't go kind of the other way. Index and match, a bit more flexible, yeah, a little bit more complicated maybe, so what have I done this? Have I got a formula in here? Yeah, so, so VLOOKUP can only look left to right, so in this instance it wouldn't be any good, so you've got um, you want to find here, you want to find what country Dave lives in so the name column is in column B and uh, we need to look to the left, so right to left and VLOOKUP can't do that, so we're going to use index and match so if we just put equals index and then just put the area you want to return the value from, so in this instance we're looking we want to return the country, so it'll be basically column A, A2 to A8, so A2 down to A8 and comma and then match to kind of invoke the, the match function if you like and then the first thing is the lookup value so in this instance B11 Dave and we're going to find Dave in column B2 well B2 to B8 and again match type will be zero if you want to find that exact name and then just press enter and I'll find that for you Index and match, this is a bit difficult. Um took me a while to work this one out today. Um I haven't done these for a while. Um so with this one it's index and two matches. So in this one we're gonna find we wanna find the price of so these are all prices, sorry, all these just these numbers in here. Um cars in Wrexham. So it's gonna look here, cars, and then I wanna find sorry, WXM, short for Wrexham. So in this instance we'll put equals index and then B3 to D10 so I think actually it should be the whole of that so let's see if extending that makes any difference we want to find it somewhere in that table so hopefully that will work now um, so once you've defined where we're looking then comma and then match 
get the max, max function kicking in. And then H19, that's just the value, so H19 is down here. So the first thing we're looking at, that's in green as is that, is our cars. Let's make sure it finds cars there. And then the um, the array is where we're going to find H19. So where are we going to find cars? We're going to find cars in A3 to A10. And then the match type again, keep that at zero. And now, once you've found cars, I want to look across and want to find Wrexham and then go, oops, 3, 4, 5. So, comma, match again. So, we want to match this time H20, WXM, short for Wrexham. And then, where are we going to find that? So, we're going to find it in here, B2, all the way across to I2. And again, 0 for an exact match. I press enter, hopefully that'll still work. Yeah, 3, 4, 5. So, we will change that to the lookup value there to Chester. I change to 654. So it's going cars, okay, it finds cars first, and then it goes across here, so like cars, 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 Chester, 654. Okay, hope that explains it. Um, so this is index and match. This is the way it says to do it on the Microsoft website that I found today. Um, those curly brackets there, I think they're called French brackets or something like that. Um, because we have to enter it as an array function, whatever that means. So at the end of this, I have to press command, command even, and enter to get it to work. So do it this way if you want. So rather than doing index, um, turn it where to look up and find the data from, and then match, comma, another match. It just says, that instead of doing two matches, just match D2 and E2. So in this instance, so, sorry, this is... This is just what we're going to look. This is the actual data in here, really, and these are just for different ways of looking, just different values to look at. So we said D2 and E2, so Y and 12, and then the first one Y we're going to find in A2 to A5, and then 12 we're going to find in B2 to B5, and then it's exact match again. So I sent it, and I broke it. Let's have a quick look. Index. Do you want to return the price? That's right. C2. Thank you. Ah, it's because I haven't done the curly brackets. And then to the seven there. You are. Um, so yeah, if you forget to do the curly brackets, you'll be pulling your hair out if you've got any, unlike myself. Um, but that's a what potentially quick way to do it, I guess. That's how it tells you to do it on the Microsoft. Microsoft. Uh, kind of office help website, they just combine them rather than doing a match and a match, whatever floats your boat. Um, same thing again, so let's have a quick look. So these are just for these down here, just stuff to look up. So I'm going to find the price for part Y with the code of 12. Okay, so we've got Y, 12, so the price will be 8. Okay, so that's... So this is what we're looking in, it's basically... The green is where we're looking for, and this, just, this is just um, where the data's been put just for the lookup value. So I want to find... Uh, so in this instance, finding Y with the code of 12. So do that, we're saying equals index, and then this just establishes where to look find the price. So in this, in this time we just put down B3 to E3 just to cover the lot. Sorry, just cover this column here, this row even. Sorry, this row here is B3 to E3, the price row. Okay, and then match B4. So I'm going to match this Y and we're going to match this 12. And where we're going to find the Y, it's going to be B1 to E1, which is just row 1, pretty much. And then where we're going to find the price, it's going to be, sorry, where we're going to find the code. Bloody hell, I'll get this right in a second. Um, in the second one, so B2 to E2, that's just an exact match. And then command and enter, that's 8. So if we were to change what we're going to look up, Change that to C5 and it breaks it. C5, command and enter, that comes up to 7, so it's gone 
Okay, so y and 11 this time, so it's gone y and 11, so that price is 7. That's looking looking at when someone's put added the data in rows, which is why it's a bit confusing. So all the data, the codes in one row. So the price is the price is here. So my fat fingers aren't using the mouse properly. And then the codes across here. And then the parts across here. That's why it's a bit confusing because you have to be a bit of a. Uh, I would normally put data in a table like that. That's just an example where someone's put the data just in rows, like that. Uh, this one here was when it's in columns, so part code price, which is more usual. Okay, so index and match, just a rough, a very rough uh, overview of those, and the VLOOKUP before that. Now this is just for trimming URLs, which is a bit of a pain in the backside, but say for example you're looking for blogs, so let's say You've got a list of blogs here, you just want the URLs, so you go to view the source and look for Zoella at the start of the list. One second. And then just copy the list. I'll do Control C. Now what you can do is find a link to it. Uh, use the Buzzstream link extractor or the URL extractor whack it in there your list and then create your CSV and then download that bad boy um, but this one I've made earlier on my spreadsheet because I'll probably mess it up if I try and do it as I'm doing the video so place the original long URL in here and then this formula so I'll write this in the description. I'll try and put the the workbook as well to download from my website. But don't ask me how that works. I just you, I just found it somewhere and just use it. Um, so this removes the HTTP if that's in URL. So equals write. How does it work actually? So text number of characters. So you just have to remove a number of characters, I guess, from the right hand side. So that removes the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and for this one it formula removes domain ah, okay so with this for example I got um, get rid of the HTTP first and the forward slashes on the kind of prefix on there and then we just want the top level domain we don't want the order hyphen order blah 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 um, this is what it says askblog.com uh, so normally, I'm not sure that's a bit of an unusual URL, but I don't know. But so normally, you don't imagine to see something like this. I'm not sure about this list of blogs. Uh, so let's say that says index of PHP, for example. And then that removes, this one removes the, the for this one, remove the prefix, the HTTP. And then this one, a nice colour, will remove the suffix if you like, the, the kind of extension on there. So this works by removing anything to the right of the forward slash. So get rid of the, the prefix first, the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, or it won't work. You just get rid of everything after the first forward slash and then it'll trim the end off it for you. So let's have a look what's happened with this one. I'll put both the formulas in the description of the video and hopefully I'll, if anyone wants to use it, which may not, they may not want to, but I can put it on my blog as well I think. So this one has changed this, it's more typical one before slash, uh, I don't know, offside, hyphen, bell end, which I've been shouted a lot. A lot. Uh, so that's removed the HTTP. And this one removes the forward slash offside bell end. So there you are. Um, okay, some ordering.